Hello everyone, today I will be trying out gouache for the first time. These are the two introductory gouache sets that I bought on Amazon. This is the five color set from M. Graham and this is the six color set from Windsor and Newton. At the time of this video, this is around US $39 and this is US $26. So the smaller box, the one with the five colors, it's actually more expensive compared to this six color set. I have heard great things about M. Graham. It is said that the quality of their gouache is excellent, at least based on the reviews that I have read online. So these are made with honey. We have five 15 ml tubes in here, three primary colors, one white and one black. This is Winston Newton Designers Gouache, made in France. M. Graham, by the way, it's made in USA. Now there is also a 10 color set that's available for Winston Newton. So here we have three primary colors, one green, one black, and one white. Gouache is basically opaque watercolor. So for watercolor, there are transparent as well as opaque colors, but for gouache, it's just opaque colors. And to make the colors lighter, you have to use white. I'm not sure what the black is for. Anyway, I'm still in the learning phase. So I actually have a book here. Get Up and Gouache by Jessica Smith. I'm going to copy and paint one of the examples inside. I'm going to try and paint this greenhouse today. So one of the things that I really like about gouache uh, before I even uh, use gouache is how opaque they are. So when it comes to painting colors over colors, they can overlap very well, such as the green over this uh, path and the red lines over the plants inside. You can also see some plants overlapping the bricks here. I'm going to start by drawing the shape of the greenhouse very lightly first. We have the path. Let's squeeze out some paint first. So this looks exactly like watercolor. Right, the first thing I want to do is perhaps paint the paint a light wash of yellow and green for the background. So now it behaves very much like watercolor. And now let me try and mix a warm yellow for the path. I can still see the pencil lines beneath, so I guess if I add a lot of water, it's still going to be transparent enough. So the basic wet on wet watercolor techniques uh, can be applied with gouache as well. So let's fit this into white. And now let's paint the brick brick wall. I probably need this to be dry otherwise the wall that I'm painting it's not going to have sharp edges. So maybe I have to wait for this part to dry first. So this part is now dry let me just make it darker and paint the edge here sharper. So unlike watercolor where you can just glaze over to paint the shadows here, it seems like I have to mix um, a darker shade. Okay. Let's put some dirt here. And now we can paint the plants inside. Now this is gouache, so to make the colors lighter, I have to remember not to use too much water. So I'm going to try and add white later on.
my leaves they don't look nice all right for the darker plants let me try and mix black and see what happens i'm going to paint something here so it looks like the covering strength of the opaque paint it it looks good it looks quite opaque but painting darker values over lighter values it's uh, it's easy later on we'll try and paint lighter values over darker values and see how opaque the paint really is let's paint another layer over the layer earlier so this is um, I added too much black let me use phthalo green and red instead of adding black to the green and now I want to add a white top to the brick wall it's still a bit transparent so I need to add a lot more white so now it looks opaque enough let me cover the white of the paper the color that I have here it looks opaque but it doesn't look clean enough for me so I'm going to use a lot more white and paint over this I think it looks better now and now let's paint the lines for the bricks and lastly more plants so the order at which you paint it's actually very important I wasn't able to paint the plants in front of the brick earlier together with all these plants because I need this to overlap the brick wall this as you can see it's not opaque enough so I have to go over it another time let's see how opaque the yellow is I'm going to paint light over dark let's draw the frame for the greenhouse this is concentrated red the red is actually not totally opaque because I added water I mean if I don't add water then it's going to be very difficult to paint with the really thick paint so far the colors they do look very vibrant let's add some flowers here and some white flowers here and just like what color i can add some splatter marks as well this is the completed sketch so what did i learn the order of coloring it's important if you do some planning in advance it's going to make it easier to paint later on I still use a lot of water to get the lighter values so I need to remember that I'm using wash so in order to retain the opacity I have to use white to mix with the colors and the colors they are very vibrant so this is Winsor & Newton designer gouache so this part here so for gouache I painted the brick followed by the plants if I'm using watercolor I probably would paint the plants followed by the wall so this is the red over the plants if I'm using watercolor I can use cadmium red and cadmium yellow but for all these white spots I still need to use gouache the alternative would be to use masking fluid to mask out all these little white bits but it's more convenient to use opaque colors and paint over so the yellow gouache uh, it's quite opaque that's great the colors they mix quite well 
This sketch or this painting is very different compared to my usual pen ink watercolor sketches because I did not use any ink here. So overall the art it looks more vibrant because there is no black. I didn't use the black lines to draw the plants so you can see all the plants they are very vibrant and that also means that you have to be very good with um, color contrast you have to have the colors work well together so that's my first experience with gouache i really enjoy it it's quite similar to watercolor but there are some differences as well now this is a new medium for me so when i'm painting with it i have to approach my art a bit differently compared to my usual style of painting with watercolor but um, it helps you think differently and that's what I like about uh, trying out new medium by the way this is a fantastic book the examples in this book they are very beautiful I'll put some Amazon affiliate links in the video description below so that you can find this book online in case you are interested to buy one for yourself all right, thanks for watching today's video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.